Oh, talk to me, Mavis. Talk about sex and rock and roll. <laughs> Choose it, share it, show it. For the past three decades... You've got it. One particular character in Coronation Street... <laughs> Did he have to go so fast? ...has made it his business to know everybody else's. And do not gossip. He's a busybody. Is everything all right? That's what it is, yeah, a curtain twitcher. This... The neighbour that knows everything about everybody because he's so nosy. I've waited a long time to do what is. Over the years, news agent Norris Cole... There's something brewing here. ...has made many of his own headlines. My family is twitching. You're just a morning old slaphead who works in a sweet shop. I think Norris is such an icon. Everybody has an Uncle Norris, a Grandfather Norris, a neighbour Norris. Do you think? Everybody knows a Norris in their life. Cats have souls. <laughs> Malcolm is a serious actor who just makes everything so funny. He's got this wonderful, proud, adorable clown's face, and he is a very, very clever comedian. We shall miss you, Morris. Ah, oh, thank you. In September 2020, actor Malcolm Hebden decided to shut up shop and end his career on the cobbles. So join us as we celebrate the life and times of the street's greatest gossip. A sort of, you know, welcome, hi, showtime. He's a comic genius, isn't he? An absolute comic genius. What's your name, son? Uh, uh, Cole, sir. Norris Cole. As Norris, Malcolm Hebden created one of the most popular characters on British television. Simply delicious. <laughs> People want to watch Norris because he's funny and he says things that they're only allowed to think. Well, let's put it this way. I've made a packet of biscuits last longer than his marriage to Liz. He's so pompous and he can get on his high horse. And I think people enjoy seeing him being taken off his high horse. This used to be a quiet, respectable street. Then you moved in. Completely emptying our minds. <laughs> it's that easy for some than others. <laughs> but Norris wasn't the first character that Malcolm played in the street. Back in 1974, the Burnley born and bred actor was offered a slightly different role. I was really pleased to get it because I thought, you know, I am Norse and I can be myself. Buenos dias, senor. And he said, well, no, his Spanish is called Carlos, which was a bit of a shock. Buenos dias. Spanish. I knew it right away. See. Si. Come in. The continental waiter was a love interest for mild mannered Mavis. Carlos. Carlos. For you. Oh, they lovely. When Carlos came into it, she was overjoyed. And there he was, this lovely foreign gentleman. He looked very lovely. Thank you. He was so sweet, so gentle, so romantic. I mean, that accent was just fantastic, wasn't it? I, mean, I wonder where he got that from. I've made some paella. I, I know. I, I smell very good. Perhaps he'd lived in Spain for a bit, I don't know. They just went back to the tech in Burnley and said, have you got any people who teach Spanish? And they said, better than that, we've got a, a man here called Vicente Martinez, who is Spanish. And I used to take the scripts to him, uh, and he read them, and I just copied what he said. I just come to see if I look all right. The suit I wear, the show bought it. Bit really good here. Bought it off them for me, so I could look smart when going clubbing, you know. But unbeknown to poor Mavis... Is that why you asked me to marry me? So that you could get her work permit? Carlos had an ulterior motive, and after only ten episodes... Please go, Carlos. She sent him packing back to Spain. <laughs> 